morning everyone. Apologies for the voice because uh, my throat isn't 100%. I'm sure it will get better soon. But today is the 11th of November and the current time is almost 10 past 7 a.m. GMT which means that today is Armistice Day. And not just Armistice Day, it's not just an Armistice Day. This the Armistice Day is a very special Armistice Day because in 2005 me and my family went over to Flanders, Belgium round Passchendaele in a town called Ypres and we went to a cemetery called Tyne Cot, Tyne Cot Cemetery and my brother David was looking through the book of the soldiers that were on that that that, that were buried in Tyne Cot Cemetery and at the time my dad said hey David put put that book back put that book back and David David said no 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 dad it's 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 important it's it, I found something I found something and on that day we may have found a lost family member and his name is Sidney Thomas Metham and this year marks the centenary that's right the centenary of his death he fought in the battle of Passchendaele for the Anzac army for the Australians and unfortunately Round about September, that's when he died. So, and it's a, and it's and it's a coincidence as well. It's a coincidence and ironic as well because he is one hundred years older than I am. Can you believe that? He is one hundred years older than I am because I was born in nineteen eighty-eight. And he was born in 1888. And he died at the age of 29. And I am currently 29. Isn't that weird? <laughs> so I will get ready to go to the Cenotaph in Accrington. And I will see you later on in the service. I'll see you then. Uh, members of the Royal British Legion, councillors, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome to the Armistice Day service. Each year on the 11th of November, the United Kingdom remembers the men and women who gave their lives in the two world wars subsequently.
Bosnia, Kosovo, and the war in Afghanistan and the war in Iraq, all fighting for the same common cause, freedom. The first armistice day was held at the Green Palace on the morning of the 11th of November 1919, and was set the trend for a day of remembrance for decades to come. We all live such very hectic lives these days, so it's wonderful that we can take a couple of minutes of our time this morning to remember those who lost their lives to secure freedom and democracy for future generations. Sadly, due to the more recent intensive military operations, such as those I mentioned earlier, the names of many more than men and women continue to be added to war memorials throughout the country. And I ask you to also give thought to the many who are injured, who are due to the miracles of modern medicine, are increasingly surviving what would once have been fatal injuries. At 11 o'clock, we will hold a two-minute silence as a sign of respect. The first minute allows us to reflect on the millions of people died in the First and Second World Wars and in other hostilities. The second minute gives us an opportunity to remember those left behind, the families and friends of those who perished. With proud thanksgiving, my mother for her children, England mourns her dead across the sea. Flesh of her flesh, there you were, spirit of her spirit, fallen in the cause of the free, solemn the drums thrill. Death, warps and life. It sings sorrow often to a mortal spheres. There is music in the midst of desolation, and the glory that shines upon our tears. They went with songs to the battle. They were young, straight of limb, true of eye and steady of life. They were staunch to the end against awesome hands. They fell with their faces to the fall. They shall not hold as we are left for all. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. They mingle not with the laughing comrades again. They sit no more at familiar tables at home. They have no lot in our labour of the daytime. They sleep beyond the infant's home. But where our desires are, our hopes profound, Felt as a wellspring, but it's hidden from sight. To the innermost heart of their own land they are known, as the stars are known to the night, as the stars that shall be bright when we are thus, moving in marches upon the end of the day, as the stars that star in time of our darkness, to the end, to the end, there we go. Those like me who have never known war, it's quite difficult for us to understand properly just what we know to the countless people whom we did not know personally, but who's there, came about, because they defended their country and the ideals in which it believed. In times of comfort and ease, we tend to grow indifferent to the horror of war, and we need to realise clearly its iniquity. May our gratitude to others for their sacrifice be found in our determination to keep the peace which they so dearly bought and to cherish the ideals for which they died. Let us pray. Dear God, we remember today those who served in the armed forces of our land to defend us in the two great wars to keep us free. We also remember those who have given their lives in the troubles since then, and do still today. We are thankful that there were men and women like these, who were prepared to risk and lose their lives for their country. Without their sacrifice, freedom would have been outside our grasp. We commend to your gracious keeping, the officers, and serving people of the Royal Navy who have braved the dangers of the sea 
as well as those of an enemy. Those who serve in the army, many of them now in places where there is fighting or unrest. Members of the Royal Air Force, ready to go into action quickly if needed. And those specially trained for more dangerous work in the Royal Marines, the parachute regiments, and other specialist units. To defend them day by day by your heavenly power, and help them to know that they can never pass beyond the reach of your care. Keep alive in them and in us your vision of that peace which alone we must seek and serve through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. They shall grow up old, as we to let grow old. They shall not be them, for years come then. And going down to the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them.
go home, fell to my words and say, for your tomorrow, we gave out today. As I said a little bit earlier, thank you all so much for giving some of your time this morning. And I thank everyone who's taken part this morning, but also a special thank you to the officers of Heimbergborough Council who have set and organised this occasion. I hope that you will agree with me that it's been a very poignant service very beautiful surroundings on a glorious autumn morning in a very fitting way to remember those who perished in the earth. Thank you all. Well, Mr. Legion, hooray! Days missed! And that was the Armistice Service in Accrington. Now tomorrow I shall be attending the Remembrance Service in, hopefully, knock on wood and all that, in Manchester to remember, yes, Sydney and both my grandfathers, Thomas Herbert Metham and Rudolf Urschläger. Now I know what you're thinking. Rudolf Urschläger? That doesn't sound English, does it? Well, I can tell you that it's not. Now, for the ill-educated, judgmental, I hate Germans who are watching this video right now, yes, my German grandfather fought for the wrong side. Yes, he fought for Adolf Hitler. Only fighting in Norway and Italy, I think. My dad may correct me, but I think Italy as well. But, nonetheless, he is still my grandfather. He loved me very much. And I used to love going to my Uma and Opa's house as a kid. He was just so happy to see me come to his house. You know, we used to have laughs. We used to have, like, five marks sometimes when we visited. Or a piece of um, sweets, you know. As, you, as, as grandparents give to their grandsons. Yeah, he was, he was just a normal grandfather who loved me very much. And yes, he was German, but he was nice. He was friendly. And he died in 2001. I loved him. David loved him. My mum loved him. And he was a respectable, loving grandfather who supported Borussia Dortmund and that was the reason why I support Borussia Dortmund because of him and we again we used to have laughs and okay I mean there may there was a, a language barrier between us and him and well me anyway but I'll remember him all the same Al alongside my English grandfather, Thomas Herbert Metton, and my lost family member, Sidney Thomas Metton. He shan't be forgotten. No, he shall not be ever forgotten. None of them, none of them will. None of them will. They will always live long in the memory. Yes, my, my German grandfather made mistakes, but I'm sure he felt guilty when it happened, but you, you can't change the past, can you? You cannot change the past, and you just have to live with it. Good thing I didn't cry then. 
because um, truth to be told I was bullied a few times in my school because of my German background I did a report about my German grandfather because you know we had the English side and the German side I re my report was about my English granddad and my German granddad and since then oh you're German who do we think of? Hitler so what do they do? they do the beer hole push which I will not do now I will not do that now because it's so racist stereotypical painful especially for me because I was born in Germany so yeah that's what I'll be doing tomorrow morning in the meantime after the service I went for a, a browse in Tesco and being a brony as I am seeing all the brony badges that I've got here I found some figurines that are affordable first one I bought is Chili come on Chili look at the camera there Nicole Oliver's Chili and Kelly Sheridan's Chili G3 Pony and one of the rare ones and that's why I bought it basically because she's she would be one of the rare ones to have in this kind of uh, design. Enough. And the next one I got was Applejack. Yep, I got AJ. I would have got Rainbow Dash or Fluttershy, but because she, I bought Applejack because she is the only one that hasn't got an open mouthed smile. She's just got a closed grin smile. She's got like a, yeah, a closed grin smile. And that, that's quite rare too. That's the reason I bought Applejack instead of Rainbow Dash or Fluttershy. So in the meantime, I will see you in Manchester tomorrow morning for Remembrance Sunday. See you then.